Hi there, Mark. It's Eli, and I'm going to try and answer the question of how do you track the level of activity in the Google group. So the quick answer is there is no export, so I can't just easily throw it into a spreadsheet. There is code out there, but that's well beyond me. That is something where if it was important long term, we could get Laney on the task. Short term, you can kind of fake that information. So the way to do that is that you go into the Google Groups, so you go to groups.google.com, find the group, and then you start using the filters. And so you go into the filter drop down, and then down in the filter drop down, you can sort of set from the custom button the time window you're looking at. So say we're looking at the month of August. And we want to take a quick look at how many posts actually happened in August. So we put the dates in for the month of August and click Apply Selected Filters. So you'll see it now gives us only the list of messages that actually happened in the month of August. Weird. So you'll see here in the top that there were seven topics in the month of August. So that is basically seven email discussions were started with different subject lines. If you look a bit more closely, you'll see that some of these discussions had multiple posts. So 1st of August actually had nine emails. So the more accurate number for the number of emails is to count up all the numbers in this post column. But if you just want to do a quick and dirty, you can actually just take a look at the number of topics. And it gets you close to do that. And then, of course, you just go back into the filter, change your date range to say, like, well, maybe we should take a look at it versus the month of August in 2011. And so we go, apply the filter again, and you'll see this time that there was less activity last August, showing you that there were five topics. I just click that. Whoop. And, uh, and you'll see that some of those had more activity, though. So that would be the quick and dirty way. There's an element of manual, but you can start looking at this as, as filtered views. Hopefully that helps out, and give me a shout if you have any other questions. Enjoy!